I'm really excited to share that I've just published the book Play to Potential. The book is published by Penguin and it's available on all the usual offline and online channels. And in the book, I discuss what it takes for us to lead a full multidimensional life. Very often when we think about potential, we think about it in a unidimensional sense, but we forget that there are many aspects to us and unlocking human potential requires a very different approach. In the book, I use a framework flavor that we can use to lead a multidimensional life. To ensure that it's not abstract, I've also included a chapter where I profile six different individuals who I believe are striving to play to their full potential. We have Ravi Shankar Iyer, who starts out with 11th rank in CA, goes to IMA, but quickly realizes that's not his calling. He now is a very successful storytelling coach based in Pune. We have Sangeeta Shahane, who starts out as a homemaker, but unfortunately loses her husband along the way, decides to do something about it and sets up a small SAT coaching practice and now runs a flourishing business out of Pune. We have Shoma Viswas Vajpayee, who starts out as a retail banker at Citibank, but has moved many geographies and continents over the years and now has found the intersection of passion and purpose and is now an arts-based therapist in New York. We have Sucharita Mukherjee, who starts out as an investment banker in London with Deutsche Bank and Morgan Stanley. But because of a personal upheaval in 2008, she comes back to India, joins the microfinance wave and now runs a successful fintech called Kaleidofin in Chennai. We have Sumit Mehta, who starts out as a consumer marketer in PNG, takes a sabbatical, comes back to India, tries a bunch of different things and now runs a successful educational tech business called Lead along with his wife, Smita Deora. We have Vineet Panchi, who grows up in Dehradun, studies hotel management at IHM Pusa, and has tried a bunch of different things, HR, sales, jingles, internal communications, and so on. And now is running a crusade called the Jaihind Project, where he believes we need to amplify the stories of real life heroes, not real life heroes. Now on the surface, each of these stories might feel different, but when you look at these individuals, there's a sense of agency with which they go about their life, there's a sense of intention with which they've made trade-offs and choices. And there's significant resonance between who they are and what they do. I hope that you will find this series of conversations of value. And if you want to go deeper into learning some of the tools and techniques to lead a full flavorful life and rediscover your flavor as you go through transitions, do consider picking up the book Play to Potential. You can find the link in the description section below, which has details around where you can find the book. I really hope that you find the book meaningful and it helps you to play to your potential. Thank you for listening.